Piper Quickie. Here's another one showing how ridiculous the 1906 Pure Food and Drug Act really was. Coca-Cola got its name from coca leaves, which had trace amounts of cocaine, and cola nuts, which had caffeine. By 1903, they had taken out the cola leaves entirely, and they'd switched to chemical sources of caffeine. USDA head Harvey Washington Wiley decided that he just didn't like that. He insisted that even small amounts of caffeine were harmful. He also said that, since the product no longer contained either coca nor cola, it was misbranded and deceptive. So in 1909, he seized over 40 barrels of a Coca-Cola shipment. But he didn't charge the Coca-Cola company. Instead, he did another one of those silly NREM cases. United States v 40 barrels and 20 kegs of Coca-Cola. This shifted the burden of proof to the Coca-Cola company, who now had to prove that their product wasn't adulterated or misbranded. Despite the burden of doing so, the Coca-Cola company prevailed. But government's never been one to let a little thing like truth get in their way. So in 1912, they amended the Pure Food and Drug Act to declare caffeine, completely by fiat, addictive and deleterious. In 1913, they appealed their Coca-Cola case to the Sixth Circuit, but they lost. So they appealed to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court reversed it all and found for the government, opening the door for the USDA to sue the pants off of Coca-Cola. Justice Charles Evan Hughes, writing for the unanimous court, said that if they ruled for Coca-Cola, then, quote, manufacturers would be free, for example, to put arsenic or strychnine or other poisonous or deleterious ingredients with an unquestioned injurious effect into compound articles of food provided the compound were made according to formula and sold under some fanciful name which would be distinctive. And of course, it totally mattered if the caffeine actually came from the cola plant or from a synthetic source. Since it was synthetic, despite it being the exact same molecule, it was harmful. So the Coca-Cola company, now facing expensive litigation from the USDA, settled. And, after paying all of the government's legal costs, agreed to reduce the amount of caffeine. An amount that was never shown to be harmful. Yeah, government's looking out for your safety. Just keep telling yourself that.